Each year, millions of Americans face the reality of living with a mental illness and living in the shadow of the pandemic has made things worse for many. Yeah, this May, this month, for Mental Health Awareness Month, we want to break the stigma attached to mental health. And for more on that, we turn to our good buddy, Dr. Timothy Quinn with Quinn Healthcare in Ridgeland. Dr. Quinn, thank you for joining us today. Hey, thank you for having me. Just for starters, what do we need to know about mental health awareness and mental health disorders? Well, what we really need to know is mental health is a serious condition that can be helped, but it has to be identified. And the individual that has this problem, they have to understand that they deserve to be treated. And, and that's been the big problem in, in our society today. There's such a stigma with it. A lot of people don't want to get help because they think they'll be uh, seen as weak or less than. But what we have to do is put information out to let people know that someone suffering from mental illness to include depression, anxiety, and for right right now, a lot of people have an exacerbation where it's a lot worse. I mean, the economy is not doing very well. And with the coronavirus pandemic, it's getting better, but a lot of people still have those feelings of isolation and just all that stress of the unknown. We have to just really, really put information out to let people know you deserve to be treated and you deserve to be the best that you can be and you deserve to be safe. Dr. Quinn, I think the most common mental health disorder in the U.S. is depression. How do you check in with someone who you suspect is struggling? Well, as a medical doctor, we ask specific questions that would help us come with that diagnosis. But even for those that are not medical doctors, those that are a husband or wife or a mother or friend or coworker, it's, it's good just to just pay attention to people around you. And if you have someone in your life that might seem a little down, maybe they're not wanting to go to the movies or go to church or, or do things they normally do. Maybe they may be tearful or, or just have a sad affect. Just stop them and ask them, say, are you okay? And, 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 and listen to them. And, and as they talk, if, if you suspect that they have depression, encourage them to go visit their medical provider and, and, and be evaluated on a professional level. And, and as a family doctor or, or an OBGYN, we can ask those questions, especially even with our children is very prevalent right now. And in the event that they are diagnosed with depression or anxiety and they're referred to a therapist or even suggested medication, encourage them to take the medicine and understand that it can help them and they can get better and they do deserve it. Dr. Quinn, that's, that's you talking to us on what we could do to talk with maybe a friend or a family member who we think may be struggling with something. But what's your advice directly to that person who's struggling with depression or anxiety or some other mental health disorder? What would you want to tell them right now? Right, and, and, and what I want to tell that person out there in the audience, if you feel that you may have depression, you may have anxiety, you deserve to be treated. You deserve to be better. And the good news is if you have insurance, you can go visit your medical provider. If you don't have insurance, there are facilities all over the city, such as Region 8, where you can go and you don't even have to have health insurance. Because if you don't get treated, you can have a lot of problems. For instance, you could lose your job. You could lose your marriage with your wife. You could lose your relationship with your children. You could lose your freedom. You could end up in, in jail. You might you know, not be able to control yourself as well. But most importantly, you can lose your life. Because if someone has depression or anxiety and is not treated, there's always a, a risk that they could have the, the, the possibility of taking their own lives and it's happened and I've had that to happen to patients over the last 19 years of being a doctor not a lot but one is too many so get that treatment you deserve all right dr. Timothy Quinn very good advice sir thank you very much from this mental uh, health awareness month thank you